Hey guys, I'm Rehne and today I'm gonna show you how we can use view model in Kotlin. Let us start. Here is a simple counter application as you can see. When I click on add button, my counter is a start. But this application has a bug. If I rotate uh, the phone, okay, my current number will reset, as you can see. What is happening? You know, uh, the rotation of a device is just one of the several configuration change an app can undergo during its lifetime including changing uh, the language of the device and changing the keyboard. This uh, configuration change causes the activity to be reconstructed. As a result, we can use uh, such things as landscape ori orientation specific layout when uh, the device is rotated. Uh, and the main question, what is view model? A view model is a class that is responsible for uh, preparing and managing the data for an activity or fragments. It also handle the commun uh, communication. It also handle the communication of the activity or fragment with the rest of the application. A view model is always created and associated with a scope and uh, will be retained as long as the scope is alive. In other words, uh, this means that a view model will not be destroyed if its owner is destroyed for a configuration change, for example, rotation. The view model's only responsibility is to manage the data for the UI. It should never access your view a uh, hierarchy or hold a reference back to in the activity or the fragment. Uh, and for our project, uh, there are just three steps to setting up and using a view model. The first one, separate out uh, our data from our UI controller by creating a class that extends from view model. A second, set up communication between our view model and our UI controller. And the last step, uh, using our view model in our UI controller. Okay, let us start. First of all, I want to add a dependency because uh, we need lifecycle of our view model. So in the Gradle file, I should add this dependency and sync it. Okay, it's done. And now I should create a view model class. And this class should be extend from yes view model yes this one and inside my class I should create variable first of all counter zero and also add a function yes use the variable and okay and here in our main activity we need some changes first of all uh, we don't need use this one anymore and here I should define my uh, view model class private val 
main view model yes this one uh, main view model by view models yes it's done and also we don't need this code I just commented and here from my view model that number and also uh, I should set for my text view to a string yes this one I'm sorry here I forgot to add text yes and also uh, outside of my uh, click listener code I want to show my counter number I mean current counter number here so when our phone is rotated so I want to see my number main view model that counter that to a string Yes, it's done. Now we can run our project and see result of our code. Okay, here you can see result of our code. Uh, now I want to rotate uh, the emulator. The number is 7. And also now 7. And that means our view model is work. Uh, okay, our project here is done. I will prepare another video with view model for a recycler view and uh, also uh, use view model in another uh, projects. Uh, so, and please, uh, if you have any question, uh, feel free to ask and leave me comments if you like this video. Please uh, like it, subscribe my channel, and also you can share this video with your friends. Thank you guys. Have a nice day.